Hello, this is Chief Danbury with MilitaryCAC.com doing another installment of something helpful for your computer to make your CAC work. This particular issue, episode is going to be regarding Firefox. A lot of people want to use Firefox on their computer and up until just recently I had not cracked the code either and I've been very very excited not for me because I don't use Firefox but for people who do want to use it and people who do not like Windows or Internet Explorer now they can use their Firefox browser. So start off here on militarycac.com. First thing I'm going to do is take you first to how do I and you can see use with Firefox. So what you have to do is make sure that you visit this page to verify that you are able to to have some items already corrected for your Firefox or for your computer that is. As you can see outcomes vary greatly. It could be as simple as following step five. That was actually the magic step for me. So the first thing you do have to do is make sure you have Active Client installed on your computer. You can also run the DoD configuration. All the instructions here on militarycac.com slash firefox.htm. I also ran the DoD certificates. Now, if you've already gotten your CAC to work with Active Client and your Internet Explorer, you're already going to have Active Client installed and the Fire DoD certificates installed. What I did is that the helpful file right here that may assist in making your CAC work with Firefox, providing it already works with IE. That's actually where I went and found the answers to my question. So we're opening up the uh, PDF here. This PDF gives you all the instructions that I'm going to go through right now. So I'm going to minimize this, minimize Internet Explorer, and we're going to open up Firefox. So you all know right here we're on AKO and I want to log into AKO with my CAC with Firefox. So you all know about the dreaded screens you get when you hit CAC login here. You do not have permission to access this resource. This is what happens when you're trying to access AKO with your CAC on Firefox until you've made just a small little tweak and you're really amazed how easy this is. We're going to go to Tools, Options. We're going to make sure that we're on the advanced little cog here the encryption tab. Remember we're setting up Internet Explorer we had to make sure SSL3 and TLS1 are checked? Well it's the same thing here. But here we're going to go down to security devices. This is going to open up this device manager screen. Over here on the right you're going to have a load button. You now have a module name. What we type into here is CAC Reader. <clears throat> Pretty ingenious huh since we're using our CAC Reader. So we're going to browse this computer is already going to the Windows System 32 file. You can also look in the Active Client folder, which is going to be under Program Files, Active Identity, Active Client, and down in here you should see some files. There we go. They're all starting with AC for Active Client, and it's PC or PKCS. Please don't ask what that stands for, because I have not a clue. So we're going to click any one of these. I'm going to start with the 211. Make sure that one works first. So you selected the 211 and you hit open. Up here you're going to on this screen you're going to hit OK. Now over here on the left you have CAC Reader and it's using Active Identity. Now something to keep in mind for those of you using Windows 7 and using the built-in smart card utility, I have not figured a way to crack this code yet. But I do have it working on Vista, Windows 7, and XP, all doing this exact same steps. We're going to hit OK. We're going to hit OK again. And I'm going to go up here. I already have AKL listed in my, in my shortcut bar up here. So I'm going to go back to Accept. I'm going to do a CAC login. My CAC is already in the reader. Look at this. Use identification request. It's verifying, looking for my information from my CAC. I'm going to hit OK. And I logged in a few minutes ago before I took that off, but it's going to ask for a master password. Your master password is your AKO, sorry, your CAC PIN, your six, seven, or eight digit PIN. So you now successfully logged into Firefox using your CAC on your Windows computer. I hope this answers any questions that you may have had with doing this. And once again, anytime you have problems with your CAC using it on your computer, Come check out militarycac.com. Thank you for your time.